Hey guys, and here's another video here. This one is on the letter from George Washington to Saudi Mohammed of Morocco. Now, Moors like to use this saying that it's proof that, you know, Morocco belongs to the U.S. However, reading this multiple times, it is quite simple. I'll just quickly read it to you guys. Since the date of the letter, which is the late Congress by their president addressed your Imperial Majesty, the United States of America have thought proper to change their government and instituted a new one, agreeable to the Constitution, which I have on the honor of here the enclosing a copy. The time necessary employed in this arduous task and the derangements of occasioned by are so great. Through peaceful a revolution I will apologize and account for your Majesty's not received those regular advances and marks of attention from the United States, which the friendship and monogamy of your conduct towards them afford reason to expect. Now from my understanding of even when the original agreement between Mar treaty was done between the US and Morocco was before our this government was established it was established from the previous government which he basically goes on to state that you know the country is relatively small and the agreement was made with the old government and our new government, which you are getting a copy of, will honor the same friendship and trade. So, the United States having unanimously appointed me to, to the Supreme Executive Authority in this nation, Your Majesty's letter of August. Uh, 17th, 1788, which is the reason of dissolution of the late government, remained unanswered. It has been delivered to me. I have also received the letters which Your Imperial Majesty has been so kind to write in favor of the United States and to the Bashwas of Tennis and Tripoli. And I present to you the sincere acknowledgments and thanks to the United States for its important mark of friendship with them. We greatly regret that the hostile disposition of those regencies towards this nation who have never injured them is not to be removed on terms in our power to comply with within our territories. There are no mines of either gold or silver and this young nation is recovering from the waste and desolation of a long war. We have not yet had time to acquire riches by agriculture or commerce, but our soil is bountiful and our peoples industrious and we have reason to flatter ourselves and will gradually become useful friends. Give me the pleasure to have this opportunity assuring that your majesty that while I remain the head of this nation I will not cease to promote every measure that may conduce to the friendship and harmony which is so happily subsist between the empire or with your empire my apologies and them. I shall esteem myself happy on every occasion convincing your majesty in the highest sense of the common of the whole nation and entertain the monogamy, wisdom, and benevolence of your majesty. In the course of the approaching winter, the national le legislature, which is called the former name of Congress, will assemble and I shall take care of nothing being omitted that may necessarily cause the correspondence between our countries to be maintained and conducted in a manner agreeable to your majesty and satisfactory to all parties concerned in it may the almighty bless your imperial majesty our great monogamous friend and with his consistent guidance and protection written at the city of new york first day of december 1789 so from my perspective at least guys He's just basically saying, you know, we just got over winning our freedom and everything will be honored. You basically don't have to worry about it.
but I'll leave you guys to say whether you agree or disagree with me. Now the Moors will probably most certainly disagree with me, but that's okay. They have their right. But nothing does it say in here that the U.S. is Morocco or Morocco owns the U.S. in any way. So, as my opinion, guys, as always, I am bringing you factual evidence. As you can see, it's written here. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.